Hi everyone, in this episode of Flipped Teacher Professional Learning, I'm going to introduce you to a tool that will make your use of Twitter uh, as a tool for professional learning a lot easier and much more streamlined. The tool that I'm talking about is TweetDeck. Now, TweetDeck is a tool that allows you to have uh, multiple streams on your screen at any one time, and although it does sound like it might be confusing at first, it does actually make things a lot easier. Uh, you can get TweetDeck here in the Chrome store. Uh, alternatively, you can go straight to this website here, tweetdeck.twitter.com, and log in with your Twitter account. So I'll do that now. Alright, now when you first log into TweetDeck, you'll get a couple of things by default. The first one is your normal stream. So this is what you would see anyway on the Twitter website. The second thing is next to it is you'll get your notifications. Now ordinarily on Twitter, you have to click to another web page to see your notifications. TweetDeck allows you to see your notifications and your Twitter stream side by side, as well as your direct messages that come through. Now, that's only part of the benefit. I'm sure you can see already how in a chat it might be advantageous to be able to have your stream and your notifications side by side. But this is the beautiful thing about TweetDeck. If I come over here to the left and click on Add Column, what this does is it, it allows me to add additional columns that could have any number of things. Uh, I could have a particular hashtag, so if I'm being involved in a chat, uh, I could have that particular hashtag for that chat. I might want to track a particular user. Uh, I might want mentions, um, activities. There's any number of different things that you can do. And you can also have lists. Now, I'll get to lists in a different video. They are very useful, but we'll cover those in a different video. But for the purposes of this, let's stick with having a search. So in the search bar, you can put any number of things. So these are some searches that I've done recently. Uh, Sat Chat Aussie is a Saturday morning chat. So I'm going to put that, and it gives me this. Now, at the moment, it's giving me some options to do some filtering. I don't really want to do that. I come down here, and I click on Add Column. So what it does is it adds that column uh, that search, that column on the very right hand side uh, of your tweet deck. Now that might be a little bit cumbersome to get to, that's fine. If I want to go back to my, my stream, all I do is I click on home. But if I want to be able to see my home and my uh, notifications in that particular column all at the same time, I can do that. If I, in the left hand menu here, if I simply click and drag, straight away I've moved that particular hashtag um, further across into the stream to where I, where I can see it and my regular stream and my notifications. Now obviously the bigger the monitor you're using, the more columns you can actually see. Now here as well you have the option to leave this uh, new tweet bar open. If I simply click deselect that, it disappears and you can get an extra one on the screen but you've got to click on new tweet every time. Um, doesn't really matter too much. The other great thing about this is I can very easily add images or I can even schedule a tweet uh, in TweetDeck. It's a bit cumbersome to do that within Twitter itself, but in TweetDeck it's very easy. The other part as well, if you're someone who, like myself, has access to multiple Twitter accounts, you can have those Twitter accounts here. If I come down here on the left-hand side, um, the collapse button simply collapses the menu. Uh, settings opens up your settings, which is fairly straightforward, but the accounts this is where you can see your details for your account, um, but I can also add in another account. I'm not going to do that now, but if you have access to a second account or even a third or fourth, you can add those and have all of those across here. It does give you notification at the top of each column for which account that column is related to. You can see here, there's my user handle. Um, if I had a different one, a uh, different account active on TweetDeck, it would have that Twitter handle here. Really, really flexible, lots of use, particularly for chats. Chats move incredibly fast uh, and they're very easy to lose track of what's going on in the midst of typing something. So using TweetDeck is, for me, uh, my view is the best way of keeping up with a, uh, with a chat, um, especially at something like a conference where things are moving very, very quickly across a, uh, potentially multiple conferences happening at the same time at the one event. Um, really, really useful way of keeping up with what's going on is to use TweetDeck. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it is available in, uh, across a number of other platforms. Thanks very much.